Hey, what's going on, fam? What's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Um, today, you find us here in the Target parking lot. Now, I'm going to say this. About seven years ago, or maybe more, I promised myself I was never going to go shopping after December 20th. And I'm keeping that word because I'm not shopping. Peggy's shopping. I'm just sitting here waiting in the truck for Peggy like I normally do. But I've just been sitting in this parking lot observing the people coming in and out. People going in with little lists in their hands. Men going in looking sad, of course. Poor devils. <laughs> but when somebody's leaving a parking spot, there's always at least one or two cars waiting for them. So if you walk to your car and you don't leave immediately, you're going to have some uh, parking lot rage on your hands. Don't just walk to your car and then sit in your car and check your phone and stuff like that because these people don't have the patience for you today. I'm just I'm just waiting for a fight to break out. I can maybe get a little recording of it or something. I mean, it is it's some high tension out here. But Peg is inside, braving the elements and everything. She's probably working on some sort of craft project today, something RV related. I think she's gonna share it with you guys, so you know we can look forward to that. Supposed to be about 67 degrees. It's already 59, which is not bad for this late in December. But uh, I think I'll probably be taking DJ out for a walk when we get back. Get a nice little long walk in the uh, warm weather. He hasn't had that in a while. Maybe play a little bit of fetch and everything. That's good. But right now, I'm just enjoying myself. Relaxing. Doing what the lucky men do. Sit in the car. I got a good spot, too. I'm like... Two... I'm the second spot from the door. She's going to be very happy. But if I were to turn this engine on and start moving forward... I guarantee there'll be a bunch of cars pulling up like, hey, you moving? <laughs> no, no. So I'm just going to go ahead and sit here and wait and do what I do. Waiting in the truck for Peggy. Hey, what's up, fam? Good morning, family. Yeah. Welcome back to the channel. I am in the middle of doing a craft. So I'm going to tell you the very first time I ever saw this craft was when we went to the Adventure Bandits Glamp Out mm -hmm. back in April. Mr. Banks, well, Dwayne and Belinda, Dwayne Banks, he had one of these. And he pulled it. He was setting it up for his nighttime setup, yeah. you know, setting up his campsite. And I thought it was so pretty. And I was like, that is so nice, Mr. Banks. Where did you get that from? And he was like one of, I think, a subscriber gifted it to him. I think that's oh. how it happened. And he was like, you got one of them little machines. You go make you one. And I was like, you Say know less. what? You're right. <laughs> and then I think uh, Cece sent me a picture of hers from Cece World TV. Yeah. She sent me a picture of hers. And I was like, that is so nice. I had forgot that back in April I saw Mr. Banks with it. Yeah. And I was like, you know what I'm going to do? Yes. I'm going to make my own. So <laughs> today I'm here. Okay, well, first of all, it is a bucket. It's a, it's a lit bucket, right? So I'm going to show you my white bucket. Mm -hmm. It's right here. Okay. And so what I was going to do is I was going to put this one in. Mm -hmm. But I'm not a fan of this one because this one is supposed to say home is where you park it. But I'm not going to do that. So this is basically uh, permanent vinyl, okay? So here, so I printed this one out and I like this one much better, yeah. right? So this is permanent vinyl. And so what I'm gonna do is put it on a transfer sheet. I put it on a transfer sheet, it transfers it from this piece of paper to just a clear sheet and then I just put it on here. But I'm gonna rub this with alcohol first and put it in. And then what you do is to light it up so that people could read what it says, you put puck lights inside. Yeah. Right? Take now I got the bucket from 
Walmart. Mm -hmm. And it, it comes with all of the warnings and all this. So yeah, <laughs> it takes forever to scrub this stuff off. I hate that they do that. I'm like, put it at the bottom. That would have been great. Wouldn't that have been a good idea? <laughs> but no, they put it on top. So I'm going to go ahead and you need to wipe this down with 99 or higher. I think, what, 94 or higher alcohol. And then you'll put it on and then we'll put it outside. So let's just see how this works. I hope this made sense. <laughs> I hope it made sense. But anyway, fam, I'm going to go ahead and get this done and then we'll see what it looks like. All right. All right fam. So this big tube here, I bought this a while ago. I got it from Amazon. I'll include the link just in case you want to make it. But this has, la I've had this, I promise you, for like two years already. I haven't been crafting as much though. But if you look at that, that is a lot. So I'm going to show you how I use this transfer paper to take my words off of that paper and put it on here. And then I'll transfer it over to the bucket. All right, fam. All right, so that's plenty, and I'm going to, in my scissors, get my Cricut scissors. Anytime I use transfer paper, I always go down with a nice fold, get it on there. Perfect. Okay, it looks like it's on there. Oh, look at that. Hopefully. This up. So, and so this transfer paper will go here and we will put it on there. So let's see. Straight. It looks straight. Yeah. Yep. This is my ideal.
Ooh. Boy, this was if this was arm day. <laughs> Feels like arm day in the gym. See, you try to use it, you know, to pull it nicely so that you could use this paper over again, but I'm not going to be able to reuse this paper. Perfect. She did that. Remember the eighteen? I love it when a plan comes together. <laughs> Woo! That was hard pulling it. But anyway, I love it. Look at that. It looks really good. So once, once Donald uh, does his thing over here, I'm going to put, like, Gone with the Windleys on it somewhere. But I love it. Came out nice and straight, too. Mm -hmm. First, she eyeballed it, fam. Yeah, I had to because the paper was it crooked. Got it. Yeah. So I like it. Making memories, one capsite at a time. Ah. <laughs> I can't wait to see what it looks like outside tonight. She got a lid for it too, so in case it's raining, we won't have to worry oh, about our lights right. and everything. That's right. Most puck lights are weather resistant. Weather resistant, right? Most puck lights are. Um, but I bought this just in case. They make you buy this separately. I think this is like a dollar twenty-eight, and so you just put it on top. So if it's raining, raining, snowing, or whatever. And then the good thing about this, too, is when you put your light in, uh, if it's windy, you can get a big rock and put in and it'll hold it down. So you can use this all the time. I'm just so excited that I did. I've been meaning to do it for months. And I was like, since we don't have anything else to do, like, why not? So your girl is happy. <laughs> I think it looks perfect. I honestly think it looks exactly perfect. I could not have placed it better myself. You could not? I could not have done it. Here we go. Hey fam, hey fam, how's it going? So as predicted, the weather did warm up quite nicely. It is about 66 degrees right now. Three in the afternoon. So I'm taking DJ out for a walk, so I just wanted to share this minute of DJ with you guys. Let's go for a little walk. <laughs> What's going on fam? So I just wanted to come back in and close out the video. Uh, we never showed y'all the final results from uh, the final results from Peggy's uh, campground bucket uh, 
We call it crafting. All I'm going to say is it came out perfect. Now, I'm going to say this. I was totally surprised. I wasn't surprised that it came out perfect. You can see it right over there by the uh, plant right here. Yeah, I wasn't surprised it came out perfect. I was surprised that Peggy admitted that it looked really good because Peggy is her harshest critic. She never gives herself credit for her crafting, but it came out really good. So I brought it out last night and I put it on the white light. And I mean, all the all the letters showed up sharp and clear and everything like that. I put it through the little light changes, the blinks and the color fades. And everything we did just looked perfect on it. And I'm just like, and she even put the little uh, Gone with the Winley's logo on the side. She did a little extra. And I thought that was really cool looking. But yeah, she did a fantastic job of it. We left it out, got the remote control for it and everything. So we didn't have to worry about walking all the way out to uh, turn it off. So it works really good. And um, we might be making some for some friends or whatever. I don't want to speak that into it because it is all her. I didn't do a dang thing. I don't want to start assigning her work or anything like that. But it was it looks really good and even she thought it looked good. So I was proud of her for that. Give yourself some credit, Peggy. But yeah, that ends today's video, fam. I know it's a little bit on the short side, but uh we're gonna be posting this on the 23rd December, which is today for me. And I like to get the videos out pretty quick. Peggy's gonna be making a little final run to the store herself. That's more of her little uh her goal towards more independence. She'll be driving Grace to the store to grab some items for our Christmas dinner. And you know me, I enjoy it and I appreciate it. So I'm looking forward to that. And so ending this uh, slightly shorter than regular video, we just want, I just want to remind you guys to go out there and do something good for yourself. And for others as well, fam, y'all take it easy. Sleigh bells ringing, diamonds blingin', carols singing, favorite season. Sleigh bells ringing, diamonds blingin', carols singing, favorite season. They said, say, Nick, but you got a bit in that bag, yeah. I got a racks, racks in my sack, or in my back, yeah. They said, say, Nick, but you got a bit in that bag, yeah. I got a racks, racks in my sack, or in my back, yeah. I'm frozen. Neck is frozen, catch me rolling, I'm the chosen, snow is falling.